Un buen hombre se dio un día a la tarea de plasmar en el cine la historia del primer balsero cubano y lo hizo no solo porque su trabajo es su pasión, sino porque así honró la memoria de cada uno de ellos, a los que conoce y a los que no. Nuestra historia no puede quedarse en las guerras por la independencia de España ni las guerras injerencistas en África. También la inolvidable guerra de miles de cubanos, incluso, fue aquella, la de divisar el horizonte de los callos de la Florida. Bienvenidos, Reinaldo Cruz. Gusto por tenerme. Hey, abuelo, es tu grandson, Gabe. Aquí uh, para darte las congratulaciones por... 60 years escaping from Cuba. That's pretty awesome. It's one of the bravest things, you know, anyone could ever do. And I'm super grateful for it. I get to grow up in the best country in the world. And it's all because of you 60 years ago. That's, that's crazy, that's amazing. I uh, hope you enjoy your dinner and uh, I'll be looking to see you around Christmas. Hola huevo, how are you doing? I just want to congratulate you on 60 years of your freedom. Your story is an absolute inspiration for the entire family. And when I know we are all grateful for the sacrifices you have made uh, to come to the United States to give yourself and your family a better life and future. I will always be grateful and I will always respect the decisions you have made and your story is absolutely incredible. I'm inspired every time I think of it. I really hope to see you soon. And again, I just want to congratulate you. You have a, such an amazing story and an amazing journey. I know we all love you, and it is almost surreal to think about it. I can't even imagine the braver, the bravery that it took to uh, to do the things you did to get to the United States. We love you, Wevo. Bye. Yo hice un documental hace como cuatro años, y después del documental, yo estaba recibiendo correspondencia y emails y mensajes y un muchacho me decía oye tienes que leer esta historia tienes que buscar esta historia tienes que esta historia y yo ok ok y finalmente hice miré y busqué y hice mi research y dije wow yo como eh, persona que me ha crecido aquí yo soy nicaragüense pero vine aquí cuando tenía dos años y creciendo en la, en la escuela, decían, oh, parcero, parcero, parcero. Eh, para mí la cultura cubana ha sido algo muy grande. Eh, cuando llegué a esta, a esta historia, yo dije, ah, hay algo aquí muy grande. Vamos a tratar de hacer esto. Y yo le doy muchas gracias a usted, Renato, por darme ese honor. Happy 60th year of seeing Cuba Huevo from me and Maui. I love you so much. Thank you for everything you do. I'm so proud to call you my grandpa. You sacrificed so much just so I can live my life that I have today. And I'm so grateful. And I hope that your story lives on forever. And I'm happy that I get to celebrate you even if it's through sending you this nice little message. I love you so much. Te quiero mucho. Love you. Bye. Hey, Wawo, well, well, congrats on your anniversary for uh, making it from Cuba. Um, thank you for everything you've done for your family um, and deciding to make that journey over to give everyone in this family a better life.
Consuelo. This is such a wonderful opportunity to tell you how much I love you and I'm proud of you from coming to the United States and paving the way for so many deserving immigrants to working long and hard to raise your family. You're such an important part of so many people's lives and you're really appreciated. Having been raised by such a wonderful father, your son, Charles Raul, named after your brother, my brothers and I have really benefited from the loving, generous care that you took in raising your own children. I know that your parents would be really proud of the dedicated father and grandfather that you've become. I'm also super grateful to you and Lena for being my grandparents because you've always made my siblings and I feel so loved and we just love you back so much. So thank you, Uncle Alex, for this opportunity to celebrate you and congratulations on 60 years of freedom. Besos. Happy Freedom Day! Hi Ray, it's Danny and Isabella and the Duckies and we just wanted to say Happy Freedom Day and wish you happy 60 years in the United States of America and thank you for letting us be a part of your family and this has been an amazing last 28 years to be part of the Cruz family and to know you and your family and Alex and we just wanted to say that we're happy for this day. We're happy that we're able to celebrate these past 60 years. And thank you for letting us be a part of your family. Happy, happy 60, 60 years of freedom, freedom Ray. Ray. Ray, I just want to say that I think it's very impressive that you were able to escape from uh, Cuba, from Castro's communist regime, um, make it all the way here to the United States, uh, to Miami. You sailed like, what's it, it's like 130 miles, right? How many miles? I don't know. It's 131. Miles. Yeah, 131 miles is very impressive. And now you're able to give uh, your family a way better life here in the United States. Yeah, I'm sure they all very much appreciate the life that you have been able to um, provide for them here in the States. Ray, what can I say? I mean, he said everything practically. But what I could say is that you're a great man. You have wonderful kids and I couldn't be luckier to have that gift of freedom named Alex Cruz, who's right behind the camera uh, recording us. But you've done a lot for us. You've done a lot for me. and. I mean, you're the one that did that sacrifice to bring it all over here. So thank you again. You're the best man. And here's to many more years of freedom. Hey Ray, congrats on 60 years of freedom. I will let you know that you're here's inspiration. Your story is truly incredible. I'm grateful for all the family that you, that you raised over here. I'm thankful for Lima, I'm thankful for you and everything that you've shown me over the years. I want, I want you to have an amazing day. Mirando al mar me pregunto, ¿qué habrá del otro lado? Tiene que haber algo mucho mejor. Eso es lo que yo quiero. Algunas personas me han preguntado si valió la pena. Pensaron que estaba loco por arriesgarme a la muerte. Pero ¿qué es la vida sin la libertad? Bien podría haber muerto. Cierro con... Fíjense, estamos hablando en esta época de mensajes de texto, de correo electrónico. Esta es la copia de un telegrama. Es un telegrama que envía desde eh, Miami a Cuba el señor Reinaldo Cruz y dice, mami, llegamos bien, avísale a papá y a Evelio. No te preocupes, Reinaldo. Nuestro respeto profundo. Gracias, Pedro. Gracias de corazón a usted por lo que significa que comparta algo tan maravilloso. Hay que tener los pantalones muy bien puestos para dar esa batalla. Hay que, hay que querer ser libre. <ríe> ¿Qué puedo decir para complementar eso, señor? Gracias. Como le dije al principio, un honor. Gracias, Pedro.